chapter 14, Mishnah 4. The Mishnah has been discussing the prohibitions against bringing offerings outside the Mishkan or Beis HaMikdash. However, as the Mishnah will explain, there were times in Israel's history when these prohibitions did not apply, and it was permitted to offer at an outside altar. Such an altar is called a Bama, plural Bamos. From here until the end of the tractate, the Mishnah discusses the laws of offering at a Bama. This Mishnah and the four that follow lists those periods when it was permitted to bring offerings at a Bama and those periods when this was forbidden. Until the Mishkan tabernacle was erected in the wilderness, the Bamos were permitted, and one was allowed to offer korban at a Bama that stood anywhere. And the Avodah of a korban was done by the firstborn rather than the Kohanim, rather than by the Kohanim. Once the Mishkan was erected, the Bamos became forbidden, and korbanos could be offered only in the Mishkan, and the Avodah of a korban could be done only by the Kohanim. At that time, when the Mishkan stood, Kochei Kodashim, such as the Chatas and Asham, could be eaten only within the curtains enclosing the courtyard, and Kodashim Kalim, such as the Toda and Shalamim, could be eaten throughout the camp of Israel, but not outside it.